Well, this may shock you, but we as Catholics, according to the Catholic Church, are not allowed to believe or assert in the separation of church and state. That's right. We can't believe in the separation of church and state. Now, I'm going to explain exactly what that means, so don't get too alarmed. But first, we're going to look at the teaching of Pope Pius IX. Now, he wrote what's called the Syllabus of Errors. And one of the errors that he condemned that Catholics cannot believe was number 55. It reads like this. Remember, we are not allowed to believe this statement. Quote, the church ought to be separated from the state and the state from the church. End quote. And the same teaching was reiterated by St. Pius X in his French encyclical in 19. Oh, seven. So does this mean that we Catholics believe that Catholic bishops and archbishops should be ruling our nations, that bishops should be presidents and congressmen? No, of course not. That's not what the Catholic Church teaches. We believe that the church and the state should not be separated. We believe that the church and the state should be distinguished. There is a division between church and state or a distinction. There's not a separation. For example, I'm married to Joy, she's married to me. There is a distinction between Taylor and Joy. We are distinct persons. There is not a separation between Taylor and Joy. A separation entails a parting of ways. A distinction does not. The Catholic Church holds that we should not have a separation of church and state, but there should be a distinction. And Catholic canon law, for example, you know, says that clerics, clergy, priests should not be seeking political office. So we do hold a distinction there. But secular society, atheistic society, wants us to have a separation of church and state. The government, the state wants to say, you know, Christianity, goodbye. You go into timeout. You go over there in the closet. You're not allowed to participate in the public discourse. We as Catholics say that is unacceptable. We do not accept a separation of church and state. Instead, we want to see an integration, but a distinction. And that's really the key. And we can look to, say, St. John Paul II for guidance in this. St. John Paul II stood against communism, atheistic communism, in his homeland of Poland. And by doing so, he brought atheistic communism to its knees. And yet he was a priest, a bishop, and a pope. He wasn't seeking political office, but as the vicar of Christ and the pope of the Catholic Church, he was bringing his moral authority his influence, he was bringing the gospel of life to this nation, and he had a great victory. This is exactly what all Catholics should be doing. Again, there's not a separation, a distinction. We as Catholics, no matter where you live in the world, I know in the New St. Thomas Institute, there's people from you know over 25 different nations, so it's not just an American experience, it's everywhere. We need to hold the distinction, but never allow for the separation. You know, you can think of St. Ambrose condemning the emperor, the Roman emperor Theodosius, or Pope Gregory VII condemning Henry IV because he was infringing upon the rights of the church. So if you look at Catholic history, you'll see a, a distinction, not a separation. And we Catholics need to work through voting and political office and all the proper means to bring about that distinction, but also the influence. And I'll close with this. Thomas Aquinas teaches that grace perfects nature. Grace perfects and elevates nature. So think of the church as grace and the state as nature. It's a natural civic order. The church is here to perfect and elevate the state, to bring about its fruition and its blessing. The church isn't here to replace the state. Grace doesn't replace nature. Grace perfects and lifts up nature. So the church is here, distinguished from the state, to lift it up and to bring about human fruition and ultimately the salvation of, of souls. So remember, no separation of church and state, distinction of church and state. I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and may God bless you.